Tonight, there might be a big hiccup with that push to increase the minimum wage in Albuquerque. Tomorrow, city councilors were expected to vote it down, which would have sent it to the November ballot. But a small typo could keep all of that from happening. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live at City Hall with the story. Well, Jess, that's right. There is a typo, a mistake in the minimum wage proposal that was supposed to go before the council tomorrow. And the people who are opposed to that wage hike, you better believe they are taking advantage of that big time. Like so many people, Madison Glover is struggling to survive financially. It's not easy. At this point, I'm finding that rent is usually like 70% of my income. She is a student scraping by and after rent and insurance. Basically living on Campbell's soup and whatever else I can um, scrounge up. She says raising the minimum wage by a buck from seven fifty an hour would be a huge help, and it looked like voters would have the chance to make that happen. The group supporting that effort, Olay, got the more than 12,000 signatures they needed to push it forward. It was supposed to go before the Albuquerque City Council tomorrow night. But now a big snag. The way the proposal reads, employees would have to pay employers the wage hike. Would have the employee paying the employer, which is obviously just the opposite of what the intent was. And in our mind, that uh, invalidates this whole process. Terry Cole, the president of the Albuquerque Chamber of Commerce, has made it no secret. She believes the wage increase would hurt business here. This issue is immensely important to business in this community, and if passed, would make us uh, very uh, uncompetitive in this area. But Cole says the wrong language on the proposed law should now make it invalid. No one, even, I can't imagine, even, even the 12,000 people who signed this petition would want an invalid document like this to move forward. Okay, late tonight I spoke to a city councilor who says that they are well aware of this mistake and this could end up in court before the council can vote on it. Also, Olay says they're also aware of the error and they plan on having a lawyer here at council chambers tomorrow. Back to you. Okay, Nancy, with five conservatives on city council, the minimum wage hike was likely to get voted down tomorrow, but a no vote would have put the issue on the November ballot. So if this thing gets hung up in court or stricken down, that may not happen.